Ladies and gentlemen, I am Jim of the Fuzzy, and welcome back to Sid Meier's Civilization 6, where we are also comparing with Sid Meier's Civilization 5. Now, we were off to settle up here somewhere, I can't remember exactly where, it's been a little while, and we're scouting and a number of other things going on. Hopefully, we don't run into any issues. No. Jin. Okay, we have China. Alright, where is China? We met China. And I don't know where he is. Or where China is. Great! <clears throat> because that's just very, very useful. Let's come right here. Yep, map peels back. Um, I have how far can I see? One, two... I'm not going to worry about these right now. Be partly because I've got no reason to settle there anytime soon. Partly because Norway's probably going to get there before I will. So let's move our slinger up. And this scout of ours is... Going to fortify until heal thing. But he's it. Enough health. We have the move through woods and rainforest bonus, which is good. So let's have a move over here. And we do have city state down there. All right. There is uh, Arabia, there is China, and now we get a Pantheon. Good. Stonehenge, China got the first world wonder. Alright then, let me select Pantheon. Alright. Well, just looking at these. Most faith for clean barbarian outposts? No. Not good. Not good at all. God of War, bonus faith for killing enemy units within tiles of holy sites? Not really. Culture from bananas. Citrus, cotton, dye. So, plantations. Craftsmen, no. Lanes over strategic resources, not even close. Plus one food from those plantations. No. See, the one, one thing that I really don't like about this, that Civilization Five does have is plus one faith from mines over luxury and bonus resources. Why couldn't there be plus one faith from developed luxury and bonus resources? Instead, it's mines, which means anything with a plantation or anything that's not a mine is not going to give you anything whatsoever. I mean, yeah, that lets them make gods of festivals and oral tradition, I understand that, but at the same time, this one's adding culture and this one's adding food. They're just too restrictive. And... You know, Lady of the Reeds and Marshes, also in production from marsh oases and floodplains. 
We go bonus faith from quarries. Or we could go plus one great person point. And since we are playing Brazil, we are going for culture. That means we need a lot of great people points. So divine spark it is. However, well, campuses are going to help. Theater squares. My liege, we have an envoy at our disposal. All right, we got mysticism done. Mysticism is the mistake of an accidental and individual symbol for a universal one. All right. You go away. Um... Revelation and inspiration, neither of those are that useful to us. So, Great Prophet, nobody has any points towards a Great Prophet, which is actually pretty good. Um, Congo's working on a Great Scientist. We need to work on that. We can't recruit admirals. And we've got great writer, great artist, great musician. Yeah, great musicians are going to be a, way, a long ways off. Writers, closer. That great scientist would be good. But we do not currently have. Alright, let's have you move up here. All right. Now we need to ask where do we want to send our envoy? Which means a look at city states. Okay, Hatsusa gives us science, and we already have one on. We have two envoys with them, so that will be plus two science in every campus district. Now, bonus we can take advantage of now, but we should be able to take advantage of relatively soon. Geneva is also science, and they want a trade route, so that will also bump us up to two with them. Carthage is bonus production when producing units. Given, just, given what we know of nearby for other civilizations we are in a relatively rough spot and we've got Norway right down here Norway's going to be aggressive we have our city state friend Carthage over here so we're probably going to need at least some units on the other hand Do we need them right now? It's a hard call. It really is. So... What I am going to do... Is send the envoy... Carthage wants a holy site, and we're going to build a holy site. Geneva wants a trade route, we're going to send him a trade route before long. Once our one with Carthage is done. Which means Hadassah is not going to get an envoy from us automatically. Well, no, Hadassah already has it. But I think dropping the envoy into Hadassah is going to help us. All right, but I want to see three envoys and more than anybody else who is who is influencing Hadassah. Just me. So Hadassah is safe for the moment, which means I can send them this and keep the envoy bonus. So, which will also give me. Some nice vision, which 
again, really nice. Including a Barbarian Scout. Joy. He needs orders. Slinger needs orders. Well, we can send our Slinger to right here. Get a little vision. We can send our Warrior to right here. Oh. Hi. Do we want some more experience for a Warrior? Uh, yes we do. So we are going to kill this and get some lovely, lovely experience in gold. And this shit's good, so next turn. Why does that give faith? What's in that give faith? China founded Taoism. And we probably should have expected it. Alright. They attacked. We won. Now, here's an interesting thing. If Norway attacks, they clear out the encampment All right, so let's just say fortify until healed. That was 10 points back. As is, I really don't like this because it's not telling us how much our expected damage is. It looks like they'll survive, barely. So, if I say fortify until healed, Norway is attacking across a river, which gives them a combat penalty. Oh, hey, they added the alert button. Finally. How long has this game been out? Two, three months, somewhere in there. We have fortify until healed on him. And I'm going to come over here. And my scout. You are playing. There you Your hills. Let's move more advantageous. And we can go deal with that slinger next turn. I hope. Depends on where he moves. And sling him up there. Barbarian scout. And China is up that way. And Geneva's warriors should do that. So my fight. A strong economy begins with a strong, well educated workforce. All right. Well, there's an interesting... Well, no. I'm not going to do anything right now. My warrior should be able to kill this guy. And of course it doesn't work. We'll have our scout attack. There's this barbarian scout. We'll have our slinger come up on this hill for more vision. And we have a civic to choose. Well, it's gonna take us less turn. It's gonna take us less than eight turns to found a new city. Or rather, it should. It's Rio de Janeiro is four turns away from growing, so it'll be five. And in total, that will give us 
six population. And that will complete, that will give us the inspiration for this. Which means we can go straight to political philosophy. Military tradition might not be a bad idea. But we need a better government. We really, really need a better government. Alright. So. I really wish cities started with bombardment capability. That would be really nice. Unfortunately, they don't. Now, Norway gets this because... Because I was an idiot and didn't consider, and I didn't wait, and... Norway gets a bonus, unless they're gonna act like idiots. And given the AI in this game, I can't say either way. Now, Sumeria's taking out the scout. Or not. Guess I... Alright, now, don't want to send delegations to anybody. Can I send a delegation? Now, how far off is diplomatic service? Okay, we got more research. I'm also interested in creating a lasting legacy because bronze will last for thousands of years. Richard McDonald. Alright, now we can build barracks, we can build encampments, and we can build spearmen and iron. And we get sea iron, I mean. Alright. Well, that's really nice to know. Iron right there, we can soon see over the hills tech tree do you want to get archery uh irrigation we'll get before long or we could get currency and get into the classical era we get access to commerce hubs which give us access to more trade routes Don't know what we need for celestial navigation. That would require sailing. For Mason. Do we want heavy chariots? That's a really, really good question. Well. It's because of the movement. How movement works in this game. Cavalry is overpowered. Also, Watermill. Which gives us bonuses, but then again, currency is going to take less time and it's going to give us trade routes, and trade routes are our friend. So there. Alright. I need walls. Probably. Yeah, except we can't build walls. Okay, then. Where's extra housing coming from? There's seven housing now. Um... Housing. Seven housing for four citizens. Housing from buildings, one. Housing from water, five. Buildings giving us housing. I don't know. Alright. Um. Do we build the Oracle? 
It's a really good question. Do we want to make Rio de Janeiro into a city focused entirely around getting big and having lots of districts? The answer is yes, then the Oracle is a wonderful idea. If the answer is no, then we should just ignore it. Although, I think, yeah, getting the Oracle would be a decent idea. 25%, uh, uh, this is if we're going for great people, and we have to go for great people for culture victory. We have to fight tooth and nail for them. So we have two spots we can put it. One in the middle of the jungle, one on this forest right here. Both of which are really good tiles. Hmm. Interesting. Or we can spend 100 gold to get it over here. Which is not a good tile. Here's also a possibility. Way down here. Um. You know what? Yeah. Let's go for a really big Rio de Janeiro. And if we're going to do that, then... How many hills do I have here? Not enough. That last game, for those who didn't see my first series on this, I had a really, really good spot. It was like... I just see with so many hills, it's like, yep, Ruhr Valley goes right here. So I've been kind of hoping to find a spot like that, but no, not going to happen here. Um, putting that settler right there, definitely going to get me that iron. Need a lot of it, but. Though this city could do decently with a Ruhr Valley. Small as it would be, though. Uh, get that tile and maybe not. The tile will be within range. Mountains. Are you hills? I don't know if you're hills. Um. Do I want the Oracle? I... Where does the oracle come from? It does not come from here. Which... It's from mysticism. Alright. I'm going to build the oracle. I'm going to try and build the oracle. I'm going to put it right here. Or not. And just take a minute and... Oh, actually, this would be pretty good for the Ruhr Valley. So many mines. Um... Huh. Is that purely all mines? Industrialization, Ruhr Valley, Wholesome Production Bridge Mining Quarry, yeah. So do I want to sack a mine tile for... Especially a tile that would boost an industrial zone if I put one right here. 
Um, good question. You know what? There's warriors available for promotion. So, I'm going to give him Battle Cry. And there he gets his heal. That does consume his turn. And we have a unit that needs orders. We have a Slinger. We have a Settler. And I'm going to put this Settler right in this nook. And put the slinger somewhere in between. Uh, not really any good spots other than right where he is, so... You know what? I'm gonna hit alert and China. You are in my territory. That is very, very rude of you. What? No war. Uh, deal. Grass cutting sword. How do they get? I don't know. Anyway, I think we're gonna end this here. We'll decide the production next time. I'll take a look in between episodes and figure out where the best spot would be. If I'm gonna put down the oracle, or if I even want it. Thank you very much for watching. I've been Jimbo the Fuzzy. I hope to see you again next time.